are we responsible for the actions or lack of actions of our parents grandparents and ancestors do we control what ethnic or religious group our parents belong to when we are born let's do a little thought experiment imagine if we were born maybe 30 40 years ago in south eastern europe in the beautiful balkans particularly in the region of bosnia and herzegovina to bosnian parents well i would have been 13 back then and if i was in srebrenica like 8372 other men and boys of at that time i would have been killed and thrown into a mass grave and nobody knows if my remains would have been found like thousands of people's remains have not been found yet if you were in the rest of the world you might have just looked the other way or worst if you were a serban i don't know if you would have might have participated in those atrocities well you might say i will never hurt an innocent person or a kid or assault a 7 year old to take the revenge of something her ancestors sent decades or centuries ago might have done something but that is exactly how genocide happens gregory stanton in 1998 shared eight stages of genocide and if you think it's a theoretical concept it is hap- still happening nowadays it starts with classification of the groups us versus them in group and out group Do you have us and them in your community? Are people split based on religious, ethnic or some other racial ground around you? The next stage is symbolization. So either the victim group is already following some symbols or if not they are also given certain symbols of hate. like Jews at the time of Holocaust were given the yellow star. Dehumanization. How come those Serbs with the good conscience committed these crimes? Because their victims were dehumanized. Bosnian, Bosnian Muslims particularly, were not considered human. So, commonly the victim group would be labeled as insects or animals or beasts and that is where we need to pick that early in the form of hate speech and there has to be if uh, my free speech is hurting millions of people i need to be reminded and my in group people need to tell me that i need to stop rather than dehumanizing or spreading hate towards anybody the next stage is of organization where the groups either army or militia or terrorist groups are formed followed by polarization where the opinions are split into extremes and all the moderate voices are silenced which is then followed by preparation where there is an active plan and making lists of those vic- from the victim groups and then the final act of extermination it is labeled as extermination because they do not think of their victim group as human and after the fact the eight stages of cover up and denial that it happened so we must never forget Srebrenica or other genocides one key factor for Srebrenica 
why nobody took action, why rest of the world stayed silent. It wasn't a sudden act. It was spanned over three and a half years. People knew this is happening and they looked at other side. One key factor was Islamophobia. And Islamophobia is a wrong term. It's basically hate against Muslims. It's not phobia, it is hate. And that was one of the reasons why in this time and era in Europe, this small community did not feel protected. So we need to, at this time, we need to come together and work together as a, as, as a whole, as a community, rather than dividing based on the race, religion, ethnicity. Do you think we can do it? Well, we might not be responsible for the actions of our ancestors. We are very much responsible for actions or lack thereof, of our actions. Silence is not an option. Please share this video with other people. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you.